This last week has definitely been an interesting one, so let's summarise it in this weekly roundup. Welcome aboard Fight Simmers, my name is Rowan and welcome back to another Information Alpha video. As last week ended, it's only fair that we summarise all of the major news that has occurred. But before we do get into this video, I just want to kindly ask you if you could click on that like, subscribe and ding dong that notification bell to help support the channel. We aim to bring up to date news and Microsoft Flight Simulator content so if you want to see more then please make sure you do click on those buttons. So to start out we have the Aerosoft A330 project which finally shed some light on their development so far and like all of their previous updates on their A330 website it is again quite limited. But let's look at what we can understand. So for starters we have a new screenshot showing off what looks like the Pratt & Whitney engine from the rear which looks to be standard from Aerosoft modelling. From the update they have said that according to our testers the flying experience is getting smoother and smoother. However we also want to implement other engine variants. Our 3D team is therefore currently busy modelling. So we are hoping that they are referencing to the A330-300 which they have been developing for over two years now, however this isn't definite. They also go on to say that the exterior model of the Neo variant is finished and the cockpit is undergoing final changes compared to the classic version, or CEO. The GE engines are already finished, more liveries are yet to come. At the moment we are working on the Pratt & Whitney engine, it should be ready within the next two weeks. Of course we will also adapt the displays and sounds to the new variants, but that will take a while. Now we don't normally like to criticise companies on this channel as they all have their own demographics for which they produce for, but to be totally honest, from this update it is so unclear on what they're actually referencing to, whether at the beginning they are discussing the development on the CA or NEO. With the added NEO project from the German Education Grants, we understand from a business perspective that they utilise the money ASAP with inflation still on the rise. However, it would still be great to hear from Aerosoft discuss these projects individually instead of merging them together, because at this stage it is just back and forth with dev updates showing progress and then lack of progress between different projects, which isn't really clear. So Aerosoft if you are watching could you possibly take the time to separate these projects to allow us understand the information better because merging both CEO and NEO news is quite confusing. But at the end of the day we are still excited to see a A330 CEO in the sim as we are desperately lacking Airbus wide bodies. Moving on we have news from Anybuilds. They have recently released a screenshot showing that they are working on a new airport on formerly known Twitter or known as X now. Now they haven't told us what airport this is, however from doing some good old fashioned detective work we figured it out and this screenshot is indeed the Terminal 2 car park from London Luton Airport. Of course this is just a plain screenshot with no information given from any builds, however it's brilliant to see another London airport being produced. And staying around any builds they have also released their new store, creating a more fluent process of navigating and purchasing products from any builds. With these changes it allows any builds to show off more details in a simpler format, allowing the customer to decide if the product is actually right for them. It's so nice to see any builds and their production team hard at work on so many different projects, whether if it is aircraft, sceneries or even then just website development. Also tomorrow on the 26th, Sim Update 15 will be released, so please remember to clear your community folder and make space for the revamped version of the A320neo that is also being created by Anybuilds. Next up we have a update video from Bluebird who is creating a high fidelity 757. This will include the 200, 300 and freighter variants and if you haven't watched our previous 757 update I highly recommend you watch it as there is a lot of information in there showing general progress. But now we finally have updates on the sounds of the aircraft. So Boris or Boris Audio Works has been hard at work producing and mixing sounds for this project and I have to say they do sound amazing. I've spoken to Boris on a few occasions and I have to say he is by far one of the greatest audio engineers in the flight simulation community and I look forward to seeing the final product. So let's have a listen to some of these sounds.
great work indeed. And those hydraulic pumps as well, they sound absolutely amazing. They've also been implementing other weather aspects such as windmilling on the ground. So depending on the direction and speed of the wind, it will determine which direction the fan blades will windmill and also how fast they will, which is brilliant. And although it doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add that extra bit of immersion, especially if you like doing a pre-flight walk around. And then they finally showed us their progress on their packs and air conditioning systems. So depending on the configuration which the aircraft is set up in, for example, if you have a pack off, it will disrupt the rate in which the air is being distributed across the aircraft. Another feature is how external temperatures can also affect the internal temperatures. So if you have your cockpit window open and it's cold outside, that air temperature outside is going to increase or decrease the inside temperature and then eventually equalize. This is something which I don't think we've seen in the simulator just yet, so well done to Bluebird for trying to set a new standard. We are definitely not complaining at all. As for the release date, they are still aiming for a 2024 release, but please keep in mind that if the project does need to be pushed into 2025, they will not hesitate as they want their product to be as great as possible on release. Now for the news you're probably most excited for is of course the PMDG 777. So let's have a look at the recent post by Mr. Randazzo. First, he explains that the aircraft is essentially done and could potentially be handed to us right now. However, with it being PMDG, they want to make sure that it is perfect for release. So they are taking this time to clean up some of the details by polishing textures, animations, and other small details that has been noticed by the beta testers. He also goes on to say that they are still working to finish implementing some changes that they want for release, such as getting the modern nav data conversion into testing, along with requisite improvements in lateral path guidance provided by Navigraph's current format. Some additional new sound areas are being implemented as we take advantage of extra development time and data link capabilities are about to roll to the testing team which will allow you to have those capabilities on day one provided testing goes as we expect. So from that, it is understandable that they want to provide us the best product possible, especially learning from their 737 releases with having missing features such as the UFT. PMDG need to make sure that once the 777 is released, it is in a stable enough condition so that they can focus on other products instead of working on the aircraft from bugs and missing features. They've also provided a new screenshot of the right main gear assembly, which looks spectacular as normal from PMDG. Showing off the rear of a G90 engine in the background as well. I really do think that we will be seeing this aircraft soon in our sims, and hopefully this is before Cross the Pond. And that pretty much summarises all of the news from last week. If we did miss anything, please make sure you leave it in the comments below. And if you do want to get more involved in the Information Alpha community, you can also join our Discord, where we discuss all of the up-to-date flight sim news and other sim-related content. Thank you so much for watching and making it this far in the video. My name's Rowan, and you've been watching Information Alpha. See ya!